Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Rex Engine. Uh, we just released the new 1.15 update today, and it's, it's hard to believe it's been out for that long. But here we are. And in this version, I wanted to take the time to walk you guys through a little new feature that I added, where I've been doing all this work on the UI recently and making things responsive and display well and easy to mess with in the editor. So this new version has a feature for the scene boundaries, which are it's this rectangle that encompasses the scene, basically. And we can see it here visualized by these white lines. And that constrains not only where the player can move, or enemies or anything, but also where the camera can move. So it boxes in the room to these boundaries. So if I test hitting play really quick, we can see, for example, the player runs into this invisible wall on the left, which is the left boundary. And actually, there's a solid boundary on the floor as well, so even though there's there's no visible terrain here. If we jump down there, we'll see there's kind of a floor that we're running across. So these have always been there, but they were kind of janky before, like they were these yellow lines that you couldn't really select easily. And it, it honestly felt like kind of a mess to me. So in this new version, we have these really slick looking white lines that are visualized, and they've got these little drag handles. So you can click those, and not only does this make it really easy to drag this, to change it to different multiples of the room size. But it also gives us these options here that pop up where we can make a boundary solid or make it a pit. So to walk through those really quick, um, first of all, just changing the size. If we test it right now while this thing is right above the ceiling, we can see that obviously the camera is constrained on the top of the scene here. And if I drag this up one slot, we should see now that we can see the camera going up and down as the player jumps because we've expanded the room size. So I'm going to put that back down. And so if we remember a minute ago when we tested and you could run along the solid floor. So I'm going to select the bottom scene boundary and I'm just going to uncheck the solid box. So now we can see that rather than being filled in, this is now a transparent white line. And so now if I jump through this, rather than landing on the floor, we're just going to keep falling. So ordinarily, this is the type of setting that you would want, usually on the edge of a room, like the left or the right edge, when you want the player to be able to walk past the edge of the scene, usually to load into another room. But that's where you want those semi-transparent, not solid boundaries. Now, if I'm feeling masochistic, I can click on the bottomless pit checkbox. And we can see this now turns uh, to, from a white line to a red line to indicate that this is dangerous. Anything that passes through a bottomless pit scene boundary is going to die. Good job, we killed the player. And of course, you can use any combination of things being solid or not solid or a pit or not a pit. And also, if we want these scene boundaries to not snap to, uh, to whole sizes of room sizes, like right now we can see if we drag these around. They're trying to snap to whole increments of what the room size is. If we don't want that, we can just select a boundary and there's this checkbox here that says we'll snap to scene edges. Just uncheck that and now we've got this guy free floating. So it can be any size we want it to be. And that's it for this quick video on the new scene boundaries in Rex Engine 1.15. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back with more soon.